How to Prevent Membrane Switch Failures. Hi, I'm Mike Ryan, the CEO of RSP. About once a month, we get a call from a customer upset because a membrane switch they've installed on their equipment is not working. Of course, this is a major concern to us. Since RSP tests 100% of the products during final assembly and also tests the circuits prior to assembly, it is rare for a manufacturing error to show up that early after assembly. The first thing I ask the customer when this happens is to send me some pictures of the faulty unit and how they're assembling it. I also ask them to send some units to us so we can review them hands-on and test them again. The number one cause of failures when those units are returned or we look at those pictures of how they assemble them is improper handling. Membrane switches are a durable, long-lasting user interface once they are installed, but prior to installation, they are a little sensitive. Here are four tips for helping you handle your membrane switches. One, only press the switch when the keypad is on a nice flat surface. This prevents the domes, because there's metal domes in a lot of keypads, from inverting. Number two, never bend a membrane switch. The LEDs can pop off, the traces can crack, this is especially true when mounting it. When mounting the membrane switch, be sure to start in a corner and gently roll the switch down. Three, don't crease the tail. Sharp bends can cause the silver traces to break. Four, be careful feeding a tail through your enclosure. Especially a metal enclosure can be very sharp, like a razor, and can cut those traces or even cut the entire tail. If you follow these tips, you will eliminate the number one cause of switch failures that we see at RSP. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or would like to talk to one of our experts, give us a call today or visit our website at rspinc.com.